Hey, I'm Brandon, and today we're taking a closer look at the LS2 Horizon helmet available at Revzilla.com. The Horizon helmet is a modular helmet, great for those sport and touring riders alike. You can open the chin bar, and that's what I mean by modular. And you can see you've got an internal sun visor, which is going to add some value for you and eliminate the need to carry around an additional shield. Now, speaking of a shield, you do get a pinlock ready face shield with the pinlock insert included. That's going to help eliminate fogging. It's a really nice added value here, especially considering this price point. You've got a thermoplastic shell main construction, uh, has three shell sizes with in the line, a few different color options, and you're looking at about three pounds, 15 ounces in a size medium. DOT certified, and you're also getting an ECE certification as well. Now to talk about the sizing, you've got an intermediate oval internal shape here, which means it's a bit more elongated front to back than it's going to be side to side. That's gonna work well for most of the US market, and I'd certainly say this helmet is fitting true to what the sizing chart recommends. I measure you know, right at 22 and a half inches around the full circumference of my head, typically wear a size medium in most of my helmets, and the medium is fitting me spot on. Now, this helmet will ship to you for free, and as always, we do have our price match policy in place, which of course will guarantee you the lowest price available. Now, let's talk about some of the features here. Starting at the front, we do have an active vent here at the chin, and then we've got a two position uh, active vent here at the top of the helmet as well. So nice air intakes here right at the crown, and then at the very top, that's gonna open up for you too. Now, working our way to the back of the helmet, we do have some passive vents. That's what's creating that overall Venturi effect, you know, pulling the airflow through the helmet, through the EPS to keep you comfortable when you're out there riding. Now the shield itself, we've got a large tab here uh, to lift the shield, no detents, it's just really that closed or that open riding position. I mentioned to you before, pin lock insert included. Um, that is really nice to help eliminate fogging. If you're riding in colder riding conditions or you get caught in the rain, um, that will prevent your shield from fogging up. Now the internal sun visor, very straightforward. You've got a lever here on the left side of the helmet to engage that, to open and close it. Um, you know, really nice for commuters and touring riders alike uh, to give them that versatility. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention about the shield. Now, it's a bit more unique the way it's actually removed from the helmet because, you know, when you get this, you'll probably want to uh, insert uh, the pinlock ready uh, insert that's included in the box. So you want to take the shield out of place, but it's a bit more unique. You think you'd have to take off these pods. You actually don't. Uh, it does take a little bit of force, but these actually just pulls right out of place there. So it's a little bit of force to get that out of there, um, but it is that simple. Um, and to put it back in, line it up, just lock it back in place. But uh, I figure we might get some questions about how the shield is actually removed. You don't need to take those pods off on the side there. Now working our way to the interior. We do have a ratcheting chin strap here, very simple uh, to remove. It is adjustable, of course. You can see the chin skirt, that's gonna help block uh, some of the wind noise. That is removable as well if you just wanna maximize some of that airflow. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking everything out of here real quick. Quick look here at the interior liner. Let's see. Wrestle that out. Slight contour to the cheek pads here, so that's going to be very comfortable against your facial features. Obviously, the liner will break in a good bit with regular use and time. Just something to keep in mind when you try your helmet on, make sure that it is nice and snug right out of the box because it will relax, it will break in quite a bit. This is a tough little guy right now. There we go. There's the other cheek pad, throw this off to the side. And then the liner system here, very easy to remove that. And you're not getting pressure points at the crown, which is nice um, because in the past, you know, I've seen some manufacturers that will put those snap tabs right here on the crown or at the front, uh, and that can create pressure on the inside of your head. And it's not very comfortable to wear for a long time there, but you can see tons of airflow that you're gonna get. And if we take a closer look, you kind of have this mesh material here covering up the EPS, but it is porous. So obviously airflow is gonna get right through there. You're also gonna find that you have a recessed area on the inside of the helmet. That's designed to accommodate speakers. This helmet's set up to accommodate the uh, LS2 Ride Pal system, but you can utilize your own uh, communication system if you have something like that that you want to throw in there. That recessed area should accommodate those speakers. 
But considering the price point, if you're looking for a modular helmet, um, this is gonna be an awesome option, especially considering the price point. It's below $200, pinlock ready face shield, the insert, internal sun visor. Uh, there's a lot of versatility with this particular helmet. So if you wanna take a closer look or you're looking for more details, click that info button. That's gonna take you over to revzilla.com where you can read other rider reviews. And as always, don't forget about our gear geeks. They're all riders, happy to help you out and get you pointing in the right direction. Give them a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at revzilla.com. Com. Thanks for hanging out with us today, taking a closer look at the LS2 Horizon helmet. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.